Hello everyone, this is Cherie and I'm going to do some art today. I'm actually going to do an acrylic pour with a strainer. It's not a regular sink strainer, it's actually a strainer for art projects. Or I should say acrylic pours. Okay. <laughs> If some of you guys don't know what an acrylic pour is, you're about to find out exactly what it is. Um, usually it's just quite a bit of paint, acrylic paint, for example. Put it in a cup and pour it. There's different techniques, there's different names for certain pours. And... I'm just going to do a very simple one to test out the strainer because I've never used a strainer for art. And then on top of that, I've also never used silicone, which I've seen so many videos with silicone and it comes out nice. I'm not a huge fan of it, so I'm probably not going to use too much of it. By the way, if you feel like my, or uh, you hear my voice, it's kind of congested. I am sick. I wanted to wait to make this video, but <laughs> I was like, you know what? Why am I waiting? Forget it. Let me go on and just do it. So it's definitely not going to be my first time doing an acrylic pour. This is one of them. If you could see closer. Definitely not my first one. I'll show you my first acrylic pour. This was my second to last. Second to last. And, oh, and there goes, <laughs> I'm slamming it into different things. This was my first one. And I know some of you guys are like, wait, uh, that doesn't look like an acrylic pour. Yes, it does. Um, it just looks a tad bit different due to the fact I did three different acrylic pours and then I used a paper towel to make a certain texture in the middle. So here's an acrylic pour here. There's one at the bottom, there's one in the middle, and I added some colors on top. So this looks totally different than just a regular acrylic pour. Okay. Um, I added glitter to this one. Can't really see it, I don't think, on the phone, which I'm using to film right now. Or should I say record? Doesn't matter, right? Okay, let's get started. <laughs> let's get started because I'm very curious as to what this is going to look like. Now, the paints I'm using here, I'm using Arteza. I want to call it Arteza, but I, I heard people call it Arteza, so I'm assuming that's right. And I also used Floatrol. So I'll give you an example of what these look like. This is the Arteza acrylic paint. There's different colors, obviously. It's a lot of paint that I have here. And this is the Floatrol. Usually they use this for um, if you have to paint the wall or something and you don't want to see a whole bunch of brush strokes or something like that. Make sure there's no weird rolls that you see. Then they use Floatrol. But it helps the paint flow very well, especially for acrylic pores. Let's get started. What should I start with first? I'm the type of person that likes to mix colors a lot so if you see me squeezing this bottle with a whole bunch of different colors don't be surprised I just want it to look great <laughs> I want it to look somewhat colorful so here I go I haven't even used these bottles yet so I have no idea if it's gonna burst in my face <laughs> I hope it doesn't all right, that looks pretty good. And I also want to put some white paint down before I get started on, let's go with this pale green. So the first color I used was a Mars Black and the Arteza paint. 
And now I'm using the pale green, which looks awesome. Okay, here we go. And let's go with this burnt umber. Now the only thing I don't want to happen is if the colors look muted. I hate it when it looks muted. It's quite upsetting when it does. But so far, luckily with me, that hasn't really happened. So I'm praying that all of a sudden it doesn't happen to me now. If it does, then I might cry. <laughs> no, I'm not going to cry. There's no point in crying over a simple mistake, right? Now I do want to use some gold. I have to look for that. Yeah, there we go. I also apologize for the sniffling. This does not look gold at all. I think it's a lot more Floetrol than I wanted it to be. And I mean, it's, you know, it's like a light gold, I would say. Using all the colors of the rainbow. That is a really bright green I'm using. So I have no idea what this is going to look like. That's actually pretty nice. I'm going to keep that over here and then add some more gold. There's no rhyme or reason of how I'm doing this. I'm not even trying to be in unison, to be honest, because why? I mean, life is chaotic. And sometimes I like my paintings to reflect life. Is that a bad thing? I don't think it's bad. <laughs> and life is definitely not perfect. Not by any means. Okay. Some silver. Again. All right. And what I want to do, I want to put some white at the bottom. There's already this like umber color, which is brown. I do want to add some yellow. I don't know if you guys hear anything in the background. This one is called Lemon Yellow. It's really bright. Really super bright. And <laughs> I just hope that it does not mess up anything whatsoever. I'm putting sort of a base at the bottom here. And I have a couple sticks that I can use to smear it and cover the bottom so everything flows very nicely. And then once that is done, I'm going to pour the paint into the strainer. Apparently I don't have enough of the base on there. I'm not used to squeeze bottles. I'm just so used to just using plain <clears throat> like paint, floor trawl to pour at the bottom. <laughs> so I'm like squeezing this out and I'm like, yeah, that's enough. No, it's not. It's definitely not enough. Here we go. I'm pretty, good. I'm pretty sure you guys can see everything here. I definitely apologize for the sniffling. Even though my nose seems to be clogged up, I could still smell the paint. I could still smell paint. And that could just be the floor trawl, I'm assuming. I could still smell that. Mm. 
Yeah, the middle is not covered enough. And also, I do have a blowtorch. A lot of people tend to use blowtorches. And for some reason, there's like a recall. I don't know if it's everywhere, but in, as far as I know, in the Inland Empire, where I live, in California, there's a recall on butane, which I'm probably saying it wrong, fuel. <laughs> and I was a little upset because I went to Lowe's. I also went to, well, they might have it at Walmart, so I might, might have to check there. But they didn't have it due to this recall. So that means I have to naturally just pop buzzle, bubbles. I said bubble. What did I say? Buzzles? Yeah, I have to naturally just pop bu bubbles <laughs> with my stick, which I was not planning on doing at all. <laughs> More gold. I like gold, guys. Uh-oh, what's going on there? It's just like flying everywhere. The gold was doing its own thing and it was flying on the side of the cup, which is super weird, but has a mind of its own. And there's a lot of black at the bottom. I do want to use a little more of this burnt umber. And to be honest, I don't think I have enough paint in my cup. I'm such a stickler when it comes to paint. That's how much paint I used. And it's not enough of anything. <laughs> it's not enough. Um, so what I'm going to do... Let's put a couple drops. I'm going to do this totally different. Since I did not put enough paint, I'm only going to put a couple drops of silicone in here. Never used silicone before either. Which I was actually supposed to do earlier. And I did not. See, I'm so like doing things backwards. Oh, that looks nice. Okay. I stirred it a little bit. Just a little. Now what I'm going to do is add more colors. But I'm going to squeeze a lot out. Because I feel like I'm not doing a good squeezing job here. Not by any means. I'm already seeing the cells popping up. Squeeze. Yep. Now the canvas is only 8 by 16 and to be honest I don't think I need that much paint. So I could be just adding too much just cuz. Alright. And a little bit of yellow. Okay, am I missing a color? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. All right, now I'm going to pour it. Mind you, the strainer has hearts on it, so I have no idea what this is gonna look like, but here we go.
okay. <laughs> I have a feeling that I want to um, add some more gold. This looks very peacock-like. Peacock, caw, caw, the peacock. Okay, I'm stopped. <laughs> yeah, I want to add a little more gold and yellow for some reason. I feel like it needs it. That looks, no, okay. It looks very beautiful, but it's just being me being a little paranoid and adding some extra colors. Oh, that's white. Oops. I was supposed to add the silver. Alright, and maybe one more drop of silicone. Oh, that was, ooh. I put three drops. Should I see what happens with that? Okay. So I'm going to do another little pour of that and see what happens. Wow. Okay. I did not use, for example, enough paint um, on the edges. I'm going to let it sit for a little bit, but oh my god, before that it looked like peacock feathers, I kid you not. So I might do another one just with those colors that I used. But I like what I see so far. Yeah, that looks nice. Okay. I'm popping some weird bubbles here. Wow. That looks nice. Okay. Now, here we go. Now I gotta fiddle around with this thing. All right, it's having somewhat trouble trying to go down. A little trouble. Let's see if I could do something with that first. On the other side. Mm -hmm. 
By the way, that's the trash truck, which I should be getting the trash can pretty soon. I like this. It looks it looks nice. And even with me pressing my fingers in it, it actually looks complete. Maybe I should leave it alone. <laughs> See, that's another problem. It's like sometimes you have to know when to leave. Oh, yep. <laughs> when to leave something alone, right? Is that paint right there? Or it looks more like canvas. It actually looks. Uh, it looks good. It just reminds me of something that might have to do with a peacock. <laughs> I don't know why I keep getting that. Which is totally fine because I like peacocks. Peacock, cock, cock. <laughs> It just reminds me of the Katy Perry song, but I'll stop singing. And I'm going to give you guys a close-up in a moment. I think once this dries, yeah, I like the top. The top is nice. Um... I don't think I put enough black in there, but it actually looks nice the way it's coming out. So it might come out with more cells. Sometimes when you leave it alone, I know I've seen cell videos before, more cells do come up and I, I am actually seeing more cells come up. So, might give this another moment. All right, so here's a close up. It's coming out pretty cool. I like the cells in it. I'm not sure if I put enough cells because it's my first time working with cells in the first place, or silicone, I should say. And some of these areas up here, I'm not sure if those were bubbles. I don't think they were, honestly, I think they were cells. So it's like little cells and big cells are coming up here. Because honestly, I didn't really see that many bubbles. I think I might see a bubble there. It's like one there. Which I'll fix that in a second, but most of them are cells.